Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my yarn adventure video. I need to break free. Yes, I'm going a little nuts with all these travel restrictions. Um, I am someone who has travelled a lot, who likes to travel a lot and do a lot of things. And I am just getting a little bored with Groundhog Day being in Cairns. Same faces, same people, same things to do. And I'm getting a little stir crazy and grumpy. So on the weekend, we decided we got the tablelands to Mariba and I could pick up Crochet World, maybe buy a coffee, and then we'd head up to Lake Breen, which is a lovely spot for lunch. So we went up to Mariba because that's the only news agency in this area that sells Crochet World, and I got December's Crochet World. Um, February wasn't there yet. I did only plan last year to buy the full year and I finally got December's. I can't say there's a lot in this one that interests me. The only thing I noticed was the Australian dollar's doing better because it's 15.25 and when I was buying them throughout the year they were up around $17.95. So I've got the full year now. Whether I buy any more might depend on what's in it. I was just going to collect them for a year. So the beauty of going to Maribor was we didn't check that they had on their market stall day, which was awesome. So we decided we were up there early enough. We'd go to their market day and have a look around because it is a great market. So there was a lady spinning yarn or wool that I stood and watched and realized she had some for sale. And I, yes, I bought some because it is beautiful. I bought two hanks of this. It is natural. I can dye it if I want to, mind you. It did cost a bit. Hand spun yarn by Ulla, and do not ask me to pronounce the surname. She did have a strong accent. Silky merino wool. There's 63 grams in that hank and 62 in that. They were $13 a hank. It is incredibly soft. I I don't want to put it up against my face because I'm a bit grotty and it is natural wool. So soft. I think if I go back up there again when they're on, I might be buying more to make a bigger project. But this is beautiful. She did give me some um, of her little business card things because she dyes yarn. She dyes fabric, but she uses natural products like the colours from onion skins and beetroot and smoke ash she showed me this fabric that was beautiful all these different greys that she used ash from a fire to help dye it um, unfortunately her um, like workshops on dyeing are during the week when I'm working because I would love to give them a try she does textile craft workshop and tuition but yeah that was the lady who was spinning at the market further around we came across a young Canadian couple they still have strong accents. They had a stall selling eco type products where she makes lots of different bags and they had like the metal straws with the bags. And um, I did buy a set of bags from her. These ones were Green Bear Eco products. Now there's large, medium and small for $12. I thought that was a bargain. They're calico, and I am definitely going to use these for project bag. They have nice clips on them. Lovely couple. Everything was in, like, wooden crates leaning up. And down the end, I could see something, and I thought, what is that? I went down there towards the end where they sit, and it was a little tiny black dog, hairy little thing. She was so cute. Her name was Mabel, and the guy said to me, um, She's quite friendly, you can pat her, but what was making me laugh was on the front of the box it had not for sale, Mabel's not for sale. And I said to him, that's a pity because I would have bought her and, and his young wife said, we could have sold her a thousand times over today. But she just sat there patiently looking at everyone and just such a lovely little dog and a really nice couple. So yeah, I bought some bags off them. And also I bought some jerky for Reeves, my younger son. He really likes jerky, um, mainly because I got a laugh at the name. The guy's company name is called Roadkill. Yes, he's, he's in Ravenshoe, another small town up there. He's, um, it was steak and bacon jerky, but his actual manufacturer name is Roadkill, and I got a bit of a laugh. Reeves said it's really nice jerky. It was a little exy, but 
it, he said it was worth it. It was nice. So that was my shopping at the markets. And then we drove from about three quarters an hour up to Lake Green. Lake Green is a freshwater crater lake in the Crater National Lakes National Park. There's a few up there. There's Lake Eacham. But Lake Green has a lovely tea house and restaurant. Um, these craters were formed by volcanic eruptions and then filled with fresh water. Um, I think Lake Breen's estimated to be 10,000 years old. It's got eels in it and fish. There's a lot of debris. They don't recommend you swim, but you can kayak and there are guided boat tours that we've done in the past when the boys were younger. Um, I didn't realise, but thing new, somebody did take a swim last year and go missing. They, yeah. They drown because there's a lot of stuff you can get caught up in in the lake. That's why they don't want you swimming in there. It's about 1.23 kilometres wide and at mean depth, which is the depth, the deepest, it is, I wrote it down, 65 metres, 213 feet. But it is a beautiful spot. We did take some photos, so I'll post those at the end. Um, the tea room was always a favourite place to go for lunch. I probably still would be, but it's under new management and they've gone really healthy, which is okay, but they've gone vegetarian, vegan, and that's fine, except it's not very tasty. It's very bland and very ordinary. It was big meals, lovely salads, but like I had the lentil pot pie that had, did not fit the description on the menu and it was very bland. Um... They're well known for their Devonshire teas, which is scones, jam, cream, and a pot of tea. And usually you get to pick what jam, but this time now that it's the jam that they've got for the day. And it looked like blueberry jam, but I did hear, because they were quite vocal, a table of metrosexual young males with ponytails complaining um, because it was actually Davison Plum Conserve. Davison Plum is an Australian native fruit and it was unsweetened, which made it very tart and very, yeah. I've had it before. I like it. But if you haven't and used to having sweet things, it will knock your socks off. And they were very unhappy because they didn't like it. But who knows? At give them time. I'm sure they'll improve the menu because there are a lot of tasty vegetarian dishes out there and vegan dishes. It's trial and error. And the young kids... They looked like they'd given school kids jobs for the weekend because it was busy. They were really great. So that's the main thing. It was still a nice day out and a beautiful spot. Um, about an hour and a bit's drive home. Thing drove and I slept all the way home. <laughs> yes, nothing unusual there, he would say. So, yeah, it was great. I needed that break and I'm really looking forward to my week off at the end of this week. The only finished products I have for you is I made a men's slouch hat in pure wool. Um, this pattern I use all the time. The men's slouch reloaded. That's just the front page of it. You, I make it unisex and I do sell. I've sell a, sold a couple of these in my Etsy shop, mainly in pure wool and usually in beige colours, but I thought I'd get a bit more adventurous. So I used Click Heat and... California 8 ply I did pale silver for the brim so I was concerned there wouldn't be enough to do the actual full slouch in the other colors which is lagoon and there wasn't that's what was left of the lagoon but I think it turned out pretty great I'll put a photo on a model at the end um, and there's no color controlling in that guys it's knitted and yeah it you can do two different sizes. The actual pattern is for a um, four-ply or fingering weight. I did it in a three-weight, eight-ply, um, and it always turns out great, and it's a two-by-two two rib. So that was one finished object. Now, I joined Penny, Kitty Mom's Crochet Penny's make-along and the Garumi make-along for the year. If you remember, if you watched the previous videos, I made a mungas in red on a key ring, January I am trying to improve my amigurumi skills and I decided for February I'd do another one a different tutorial for a slightly bigger one this one in purple using my birthstone colors now 
the question for you guys is I put that on a hook and that's on a key ring like that. they hook to your backpack which one do you think makes a better backpack buddy now thing likes that one Reeves likes that one Reeves reckons the legs are wrong on that one that they're more accurate on this one so in the comments below let me know especially if you know someone who plays this game which one you think makes a better backpack buddy there is actually a bigger one I've been looking to make um, Penny I blame you I am becoming hooked on these little things <laughs> there you have it guys that was my um, finished objects I didn't really do a lot I have been cleaning up my stash and my whips and I have now decided um, if you, I didn't mention it last video I can't remember my movie for letter D will be the Australian movie The Dish based on Australia's assistance with NASA in the moon landing it's a comedy and it is loosely based on fact I haven't seen it I like this movie soundtrack I it's my music it does date me but um, I've always liked the soundtrack and never watched the movie so I'm gonna watch the movie because of UFOs I came across I got me thinking about space and yeah I found some unfinished objects that I'm going to finish or either frog but yeah the dish will be my movie D so watch out the review for that um, a couple of public service announcements I was in a live watching Kerry from Yarny Elephant um, the internet connection was really bad it kept dropping in and out and ended up getting kicked out of it couldn't get back in it she was talking about her fundraising raffle for Sharon's Crochet Corner I think they have 26 prizes same deal one ticket for five dollars five tickets for twenty dollars US I bought some today five tickets the Australian dollars doing better roughly twenty six dollars through PayPal you pay through Mama Swiss PayPal and make sure that you're from put you're from Australia because there are different prizes like some are just for USA some are just for Canada some are worldwide so yeah if you could do that that'd be great help support Kerry the Yarny Elephant fundraise because even though Sharon is getting the wheelchair it still has to be paid for and we're going to fundraise until it's finished so yeah I'll put links to Kerry the Yarny Elephant and Mama Swift in the description below so you can check them out which brings me to my PDF pattern for the Tea Cozy Gift of Love Tea Cozy I have sold eight now which is awesome hopefully by the end of February I've sold another two and hit the magic ten um, I'll put a link to that in case you are a knitter and interested in doing my easy knitted Tea Cozy so that's it I've got a week at work to get busy and finalize and then um, next week we're off to Magnetic Island and that should be fun so check out all the photos at the end um, to my loyal subscribers thanks for watching to those new subscribers I hope you join in the make along um, you enjoy my yarn adventures leave some comments let me know you've been there until next time make sure you take care of each other stay safe and have one crafty day making anything bye for now